time for the North Carolina Vinyl Picker Show. It's Sunday night, and this will be the first of two parts. On Wednesday night, we're going to have the special show of the week. And on Saturday, Wednesday, I keep saying Saturday. On Wednesday, it's going to be my top 10 bands of 2023. We're going to go ahead and we're going to discuss those. But for tonight, tonight is all about showing you guys and gals my pickups for the week. There you go. So, also we're going to have a little quiz at the end of this. So, you and Johnny and Billy down in the front row, don't be raising your hand too often and get everybody else a chance to uh, chime in there with some of the questions, some of the answers. And the uh, the answers are going to be put it down, answer down below in the comment section, and then I'll check them out and I'll be sending you back a response to let you see if you uh, know these uh, five Genesis questions at the end of the show. So there you go. Let's run through this stuff real quick. I picked up this week and I got a ton. So I may go over 10 minutes today. Uh, Genesis BBC broadcast. This thing is just freaking phenomenal. Yes, this is the pick of the week. And it's coming at you first and it's coming in hot. And uh, everybody out there that loves Genesis needs to get this here. Especially just for the first uh, first CD alone is worth the price of admission. But uh yeah, that thing's great. I'm going to be sending that up to my buddy John so he can uh, give it a listen. And I'm going to send this one up there with it. Uh, Lyle May Solo, Pat Matheny Group. Yeah, I think I sent this up there to him before and he made a copy of it. But I'm going to go ahead and send him the CD. I'm going to send that up there to John along with that there. And uh found this Linda Ronstadt CD. I had never seen this one before. That was the first time I ever saw that one. I picked up a copy of Magnification by Yes. The last uh, Yes album to be done with John Anderson. Superior album. Great album. How about some Al Miola? Consequence of Chaos. Yeah, a lot of his later stuff you just can't get on vinyl. If you can, it's really expensive. So I have to settle for the CDs of his later uh, output. Found this one in a charity shop. Anderson Bruford Wakeman Howell Quartet. Yeah, I already have the 45 of this, but this here CD I found for a buck. These are all a dollar. These ones I'm going to show you now. This one. I'm going to keep that one. This one here I'm going to put in my store. Patty Smith Gone Again. If anybody out there likes Patty Smith. And um, my show is the... My show. My store is Big Chief Vinyl 57. And that's in Discogs. So you can find me there. And uh, to get all your... CD and vinyl needs. Um, found this copy of Brainwashed, George Harrison. This will be going in the store. Susan Chiante, The Dream Suite. She's pretty popular. I've sold quite a few of her CDs. Yep. Level 42, Level Best. This is an income... I don't know how you say that. Incumion. A tribute to Led Zeppelin. I'm probably saying that all messed up. But Tori Amos is on this. And I'll be putting this with my other Tori Amos stuff. Speaking of Tori, here's Hey Jupiter. I have another copy of this. I'm going to be putting all my doubles of all my CDs of Tori Amos in my store. And I have a, probably a stack like about like that. So this one will be going in there. I already have that. This one here is a Robert Plant, If I Were a Carpenter. And it's from... Um, I don't know what album it's from, but um, yeah, I'm glad to have this. This will be going in my collection. And this one here didn't have any CDs in it, but this is the, the extended mega version of uh, the Eagles' last album, Long Road Out of Eden. And um, yeah, so this one here I'll be keeping until I can get this, find the CDs. Uh, I did find 145 this week. It's uh, The Crazy World of Arthur Brown, and that's Fire. And then these are the albums. Now, here is the second haul. Here's some of the albums that I paid $3 a piece for when I went back. <clears throat> I went back to the Honey Hole. That's on the side of a warehouse, not too far from my house. And I went in there, and then I explained on the last show that I went in there, and the lady had a bunch of her own records. They were quite expensive. I asked her if she had any others, and they were in the back. And then I pulled out um, seven last week. I went back and picked out 11 more. 
Um, these are all these were all three dollars a piece, and they're all in minty mint. I've washed them all in the uh, Humming Guru. Some of these will be going in the store, and some of these will be staying in my own collection. This one's going in the store, so I already have a copy of this. It's Wild Things Run Fast. Joni Mitchell Mingus going in the store. Joni Mitchell Don Juan's Reckless Daughter going in the store. And these are all first pressings in mint condition. Uh, covers are a little wonky on some of them. This hissing of summer lawns. Joni Mitchell. These are all in excellent shape. For the roses. The covers a little beat up. The record's beautiful. So those are the five of those. Those are going in the store. These next ones are going into my own collection. El Dorado. ELO. With the hype stickers. But I did put my copy of uh, ELO in the store. Jerry Rafferty. City to City. This is going in the store. Uh, Tomito Bolero. These uh, three Tomito albums, Tomita albums, I'm going to be putting them in, in my collection. The Bermuda Triangle. And that's pretty cool. Look at that. Pink vinyl. And this was in 1978. Does anybody out there know about colored vinyl that early? I remember uh, the Grand Funk were an American band. That was yellow vinyl. That had to have been... In the mid 70s, right? 75 Grand Funk. This one here was 78. I think it's just cool as hell um, to have a record that old uh, with colored vinyl. How about The Exorcist? I'm keeping all these. These are Clockwork Orange. And that's, uh, those are all my $3 pickups from the, um, the flea market. Uh, not a flea market. It was a little a pawn shop type place. And, um, where they had consignment in there and then really nice lady. And uh, I got this album here in the mail. I got this one here from overseas. I didn't have this Mike Oldfield album and I wanted it. And I think it was only released overseas because it, it was during the CD era. Where are we at? Seven minutes. I'm doing pretty good. Nectar, live in New York. Got this one on Discogs. Got a really good price. I was like $10 with shipping. It's a double album. Everybody knows I love Nectar. This was a Hatfield in the North. This is their first album with Dave Stewart and his group. Now, the, this is, a, of course, a promo. And I put my copy, which is a really nice copy, in my store. So if anybody's looking for a copy of Hatfield in the North, there you go. Canterbury. I found this one um, online and got this one off of uh, Discogs. It's Bill Bruford, uh, his band, Bruford, with Dave Stewart and um, the rest of the uh, people there in his band. Live. PFM Cook. This is PFM Live in New York. And I got the promo on here and I put my copy in the store. If anybody's looking for any PFM, there's several albums in there. And then these five albums came from um, Goodwill. Bobby Gentry, O to Billy Joel, not Joel, Billy Joel, no, O to Billy Joe. Nice minty copy. I think I already have one in the store, but this one's going in there too. Um, Aztec Camera, never heard of these guys, but um, the album is uh, quite pricey. Got a good price on it for that. It's an 80s release. This will be going in the store. It's already in the store, I think. Uh, Pink Floyd copy of uh, Amagama. And it's it's really it's got some really bad scratches on it, but for um, a dollar and a half, I wasn't going to leave it at at Goodwill. And actually, I've never seen this uh, Pink Floyd album in Goodwill in my entire life until the other day. And then I said, well, I can't leave it. Am I going to play it? No. Am I going to sell it? No. Am I going to keep it? Yeah, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> this one here I can sell, but it's it's not in the best shape. It's nothing I would listen to. Um, Earl Garner, but gone, Garner, gone contest. Uh, if I put it in the store, I don't know if I may or may not. It's just, it's not in the greatest condition. Um, it's a really old record. Um, and uh, yeah, this one, here's another one I found. It was a dollar and a half and uh, it's got a lot of scratches on it. It's good for a, like a placeholder. If you don't have it, um, it might there might be several songs on here you could play. There's several you probably wouldn't want to play. So there you go. And, and I was never a Kiss fan, even though uh, I was in that era. 
Okay, so let's now talk about uh, shout outs. I want to talk about a couple guys here. Tuco, uh, the vintage violent hunter. Violent? Vinyl. I can't speak tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. Let me take a drink. <sighs> Vinyl hunter. He just put up a new video. Go and check him out. L.E. and Vinyl Martini. Those guys are always talking about my show and commenting down below and give me insight and what they like, what they don't like, you know, what's good, what's bad. Get the, check their show out and uh, uh, sub them up and uh, check them out. Stoner Stash Box. I just watched Stoner. His latest one is just great, just excellent. Um, Tad's Reads Books and Stuff. He made the button comments on my rec on my uh, show too, and uh, all of them guys are great. And um, comments are always welcome. You know, most of the time they're always good. These these five people here always give me good comments. So uh, uh, coming on uh, Saturday night, we're going to do a new daily sh a show here, a weekly show. It's going to be the um, it's going to be the quiz. It's going to so tonight's quiz are five quizzes, five uh, answers that I need on these five questions. So if you want to go ahead and uh, get your pencil ready and write them down, or you can just, as you, as we go along here, maybe you'll know, and you can let me know once the uh, videos, once you see the video. So number one, who replaced Peter Gabriel in Genesis in 1975? That's question number one. Number two is Anthony Phillips, who's the original OG guitar player, for Genesis, why did he leave the band? Number three, who sang vocals on the Genesis last album, Calling All Stations? Number four, why did Steve Hackett depart Genesis? These are tough questions. You gotta be a Genesis freak to know all these five. Number five, what is the name of the Tony Banks first solo album? Of course, Tony Banks is the keyboardist for Genesis. So, yeah, next week we're going to, uh, next, uh, w this coming Wednesday, we're going to be doing the top bands, my top bands of 2023. I'm going to show you what I think is the uh, number one album of this year so far. And the top 10 albums, according to Discogs, is coming up too. I'll be doing a deep dive into that. And, uh, and uh, this might give you some heads up on who I think is the number one album so far in 2023 because we're almost coming up on the first quarter. Yeah, the first quarter of the year. Well, actually, second quarter of 2023. But if you, if you start all the way back to last year. But anyway, anywho, uh, let's just say that March 31st, April 1st, April Fool's Day, we will rank the top five new releases for 2023. That's all I pretty much I got for tonight. So catch me on Wednesday night, and we will go over those things I was talking to you about. The top 10 albums, according to Discogs, and my top 10 bands of 2023. We're going to talk about both of those. Have a great rest of your week. North Carolina Vinyl Picker, out. <laughs>